Christopher Clements is guilty of first degree murder and kidnapping, according to a Pima County jury. Clements was convicted today of killing 13 year old Maribel Gonzalez in 2014. Her body was found three days after she went missing in a rural area of Avra Valley linked to Clements. Now joining us now to talk more about the guilty verdict, nine on your side's Andrew Christensen. And Andrew, you spoke to defense attorney Eric Kessler. What was his reaction to the verdict? Yes, Ryan Kessler tells me when they heard the verdict, the defense was disappointed. Now, Clements was found guilty of kidnapping and murder. Kessler tells me now they're waiting for Clements to be sentenced. It's just hard to see her like that, but you know, she, I know she's okay. That was Maribel Gonzalez when Kega 9 interviewed her years ago when she was alive. Eight years after her death, Christopher Clements was tried and found guilty of her murder. His attorney, Eric Kessler, says there was not sufficient evidence to prove Gonzalez was murdered. Since we didn't know how she died, um, it was difficult to say that she died uh, at the hands of somebody else as opposed to accidentally uh, overdose, uh, some natural cause. We don't know. DNA was recovered from Gonzalez's body. DNA expert witnesses say it's good enough to include Clements, but could also include all the men on Clements's father's side and one in 8,600 men in the general population. Kessler says the DNA samples could have swayed the jury's opinion. It's complicated. It's difficult for, for juries to understand. Uh, juries like to have it packaged nice and neat for them to make that decision easier. It wasn't in this case, but Nonetheless, it certainly was not helpful to the defense. Clements's iPads had pictures of young girls. The prosecution says that suggests Clements had an obsession. But Kessler says that was irrelevant to the case because Clements was not charged with sexual offenses against Gonzalez. Telling that to the jury could cause the jury to convict somebody simply because they don't like them, as opposed to it being evidence of the crime for which Mr. Clements was standing trial. As for the sentencing, Kessler says Clements could face a life sentence, which could allow Clements to be released after a minimum of 25 years. The other sentence he could face is natural life, which means he could be locked up until he's dead. Kessler says that does not take into consideration Clements' kidnapping charges. Hoping that the court imposes the lesser of the two possible sentences for the, the homicide. Kessler says he will also be representing Clements at the second murder trial of Isabel Sellis. Now, Kessler tells me there is room to reduce the conviction. He says he believes there are strong enough reasons to appeal the ruling, and he's hoping it will be heard by Division II of the Arizona Court of Appeals. He says if necessary, he's hoping the case will go all the way up to the Arizona State Supreme Court. Reporting in studio, Andrew Christensen, KGA 9 on your side. Thank you, Andrea. Yeah, obviously still a lot of steps to go here in this whole process. Mm -hmm. Thank you.